Hi, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I literally have no idea what I want to talk about this time. It's just been one of those weeks where some weeks I'll sort of like kind of know what I want to talk about because there'll be lots of things going on in my head and other weeks I'm like I have literally no idea what's going on in my head right now I know like what I'm like focusing on when I'm getting all the stuff but just in general there are no definite focuses for where my thoughts kind of are <laughs> And this is definitely one of those weeks where it's just been, it's just been a week, to be honest. Um, as I'm sure those of you in the UK are aware, we are now in lockdown number three. <laughs> Which, um, in some ways kind of came in at a really annoying time because the, uh, the the uh <laughs> no i'm gonna i'm gonna okay um so the person that i am uh involved with is non-binary so we've agreed to the threat to the phrase cute friend instead of boyfriend or girlfriend um so the cute friend and i had been making plans or have been making plans to meet up in february um, they had their time off approved, um, so I went and booked my time off, and the same day that I got my time off approved, lockdown number three was announced, um, because at the moment there's no word as to how long this lockdown is definitely going to go on for, um, there is a chance that meetup might not happen, uh, so obviously we've both been pretty disappointed about that. <laughs> Be nice to kind of meet them in person, and I'm really looking forward to getting the opportunity to meet them in person. So I was actually getting quite excited when I put the time off um, for February, but obviously with the world situation being what it is at the moment, it's little. It's a little bit frustrating um, that neither of us really know what's sort of going on at the moment. So it's yeah. It it is. It is what it is. Um, I mean, fingers crossed. Hopefully, the situation will reach a point where it is okay for the February meetup to to happen, even if we have to be a little bit stricter about how we interact with each other. At least it'll be meeting face to face, which, you know, it's, yeah, it's something I kind of, I really sort of want to do. <laughs> and it's, it's weird. Um, I always know if the people I'm interacting with are having a very positive impact on me because I'm more willing to reorganise my life <laughs> in order to accommodate time for them <laughs> I'm a very routine person and I've, I've always been a very routine person um I'm not like strict I don't get like really upset if something can't happen at a particular time um unless of course it involves me losing sleep in which case then yes I do get a little bit upset um I mean, probably not so much at the moment because I'm up at stupid o'clock in the morning regardless anyway. So it, it's a little bit different now. Um, but certainly in the past, the one like the one thing that would really upset me is if the changing changes of plans or the disruption to my routine was going to cost me sleep. Um, but in general, I'm not too bad at my routine being shaken up. Um, but I'm very I, it, like I'm a very routine sort of person, so if I don't have to have my routine shaken up because I can get them to navigate around me, <laughs> then I definitely prefer that. Um, 
So I always know if somebody is having a very big impact on me, if I'm willing to do things the other way around, and I am definitely willing to do things the other way around at the moment, I'm willing to like rearrange how I organize my evenings in order so that we can do certain activities together. I mean, obviously we're not in the same place, but the internet is fantastic. <laughs> um, so we've been uh, playing games together online, um, which has been really fun. And, and it has been really fun. I was uh, I was a little bit wary about spending so much money on on, uh, on a game because I was like, oh, what 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 if we only play the once and then we never play again? But no, we've, we've been playing most evenings. Uh, we've still been doing the Friday night watching stuff together. We've gone from films to watching anime, which is great. <laughs> I always feel like a new series is like a better thing like it, it's more of a commitment to say okay we'll watch this series together than it is to go okay we'll watch a film together every week because you, you can run out of films that you you're you're both interested in watching but if you're you're both like invested in a series then that that feels like more of a more of a commitment more of something that you can do um so we we've definitely been doing as much as we can to you know to connect and, and to do things together and feel like we're sort of hanging out together but at a certain point you're kind of like well, I just I just want that sort of face-to-face -face interaction um so fingers crossed hopefully things will improve enough that we can uh that we can have our meetup in February it's still you know a few weeks off so Anything can happen between now and then, but at this point in time, it's just a matter of, okay, fingers crossed, let's wait and see, let's try to be positive about this, um, and hopefully things will work out the way that we want them to. If not, I've got time off in March. <laughs> I've got time off for my birthday in March. Um, I'm, I'm willing to, to use some of that time. To, to make other plans and to go see them if, if needed. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it may, it may end up like both. <laughs> both might end up happening. <laughs> Which again, is not a bad thing. It's, like, it's very much at the moment kind of just a waiting game. <sighs> In terms of, you know, we're going to keep trying to make plans and trying to make arrangements to see each other and it's literally just waiting on the world situation to allow things to happen because neither one of us wants for them to get sick with anything obviously <laughs> we also don't want to you know risk um other people's lives unnecessarily um, so we, we're not going to you know, go out of our way to defy the pandemic situation just to see each other but at the same time you know if if we're sensible about it if we're smart about it we can find a way of, of safely meeting each other face to face then we're going to find that way of safely meeting each other face to face so Yeah, I guess that's been the major thing that's been on my mind this week. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what else to say. I don't really want to sort of get onto a different topic because this is already reaching like the 10 minute mark. And if I get onto another topic, then it's going to like, like feel like it's padding. And, and the one thing I do find is if like, I'm all over the place in terms of topics. It's really hard to define what the video is about and those tend to get less views. Whereas if I'm kind of more focused about what I'm talking about, then, you know, even if I'm sort of deviating a little bit here and there, then I can like at least give a general idea of what the blog is going, <laughs> what the blog is going to be about when I title the blog. So I think, I think since I've said pretty much all I can say on this at this particular point in time, um, I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I'm, I'm sure some of you are probably like, this is not a particularly interesting topic. But others out there are in a very similar situation to, to uh, us right now. Um, 
there is somebody that I work with who is in a long distance relationship who hasn't been able to see their partner in a while um, or at all. I'm really not sure on that situation. <laughs> I know they've been together for a while, but I don't know if they've actually had that. I mean, I think they've had some face to face um, interactions. Um, and I know they're more of an established relationship, but it's still that it's still that same sense. It's still that same, you know, situation where you're you you want to be able to interact with this person who doesn't live locally enough for you to be able to do it in the current situation. So I'm I'm sure there are some people out there who know exactly what I'm feeling right now. Um, whether they've got more established relationships or their relationship is in roughly the same spot I don't think that matters too much I think it's a it, it is it, it's a difficult situation that we're in uh, in general at the moment and not just for you know relationships but in terms of you know I, I, I've not seen my parents very much recently uh, you know, I've not seen my brothers in a long time it's uh, yeah it, it's very much like that uh, it just in general at the moment, so yeah. Okay, so as I was saying, I hope you guys found this one sort of interesting. Um, I hope you're looking forward to seeing what I'm going to talk about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!